There we go. That's a better fish. Pulling good. Oh yeah. Nice slab. Oh yeah, big fat slab. <laughs> Man, that is what you want right there. That's a great sight. And that's without any electronics or uh, motor or anything. It's just out of my kayak. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angling. Today I'm out here on Lake of the Ozarks in my kayak and we're going after some largemouth bass and some crappie. Uh, it's February 12th, day of the Super Bowl. So we're gonna go out and try to catch some fish before the big game and uh, hopefully get on some nice crappie and bass. Water temperature's probably around 40 degrees. I don't have a graph with me, so it's kind of a guesstimate. Uh, but I just put in, it's about 32 degrees air temp today, and uh, we got some ice augers pumping on some of these docks, so that could either help or hurt the crappie fishing. So we're gonna go see if we can uh, go find some around some of these docks here first, and uh, if not, we'll go try for some bass. We'll see if we can catch today. That dock's not in good shape at all. Jesus. It's a little broken. It's completely lifted that up. Here's the first one of the day right there, guys. Didn't have the camera rolling, but finally found some fish. Been bouncing around a lot today. First fish came on this little uh, Bobby Garley shad pole. There we go. They're down kind of deep today. Light bite too. Ooh, barely hooked. There we go. That was a little chaotic. It's another white crappie, another keeper too. Get him on a strainer. That got way up there. clear underneath that swim platform right now. There he is. Around the shade of that dock, that edge right there. Oh, it's a better crappie too. Yes. Definitely got a good school down there. It's three fish and three drops, so very happy with that. Ten and a half inch right there. The other two that I've caught so far are also tens. So, got an average keeper on Lake of the Ozarks. A lot nicer right now what it was when I put in this morning. I've been out for a couple hours. Been dock shooting for quite a while because I knew if I did this long enough I'd find them. In case you're wondering how I'm doing this on dock shooting, I'm taking my uh, my index finger on my right hand here and putting that up here against the, uh, the reel of the seat here. So I'm taking this from a closed bale, grabbing my finger here, putting it right up against that, and opening the bale up. Reaching over here, it should be about an arm's distance away from you the jig when you're sitting down here in a kayak like this and this load that up to where that line that is from the rod tip to the jig is parallel with the water and you have it kind of bent up there in a C shape and you're gonna let go basically at the same time between your index finger on your rod here and the head of the jig and I'm holding that jig so that the hook is not anywhere near my fingers I just got the head and I'm pulling it pointed up like this and let go, same time. And it flies right up underneath there. That was so light. 
they're sitting right down there in, I don't know, 15 feet of water. Nice crappie. Just barely hooked on the inside of the lip right there. That's a lot of fun. Another keeper. That's better. There we go. It's so light, I'm not even getting a thump out of them. It's just like very light pressure. And you set the hook. I'm all eating it about the same. It's just a really natural Bobby Garland shad pole for my bait. A 1 16th ounce juke head. That's another 11 inch right there, so we'll get him on the strainer as well. There we go. That's a better fish. Pulling good. Oh yeah. Nice slab. Oh yeah, big fat slab. <laughs> Man, that is what you want right there. That's awesome. Big old pouch on him, full of shad or something. Maybe eggs. Could be a pre-spawn. It's a 12 inch white crappie right there at Lake of the Ozarks. That's a good one. Get him on the stringer too. Keeper six of the day. There we go. That's another good crappie right there. Deeper. Yeah. That's just like the last one too, probably in that 12 inch class range right there. Hook wasn't even in all the way. The barb wasn't even popped out through the through the fish's mouth. I was lucky to catch that one and just a chunky, chunky fish right there. I mean just full. I can actually see a shad. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'll probably get the other camera so you can, but I can see a shad tail and it's a mouth sticking out right there. So that's what that is right there. And it is just like, it feels pressurized, man. Like a balloon. All right, let's get back in there. Oh yeah. That was actually a thump right there. Felt that bite. Not as big of a fish. But he came for it. Let's see, how many inches are you? Oh. It's still a 10 and a half inch fish, so we'll get him on a strainer too. go. I'm going to start flopping everywhere again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. There we go. That one doesn't feel that big. Nope. I think it's the first non-keeper I've caught today. Get him going back right now. Or just he can be stunned for a second, I guess. What is going on here, bud? There he goes. <laughs> There we go, finally. Hooked up again. 
A little bit of a lull there. <laughs> You're barely nipping this thing. I've had so many short strikes. All right. It's number 10 right there. And uh, looks like he's over 10. Yeah, 10 and a half. So five more to go and we got a limit for the day. It's a great morning. to show you guys the jig I've been using to catch these fish today. This has uh, put 10 fish on the stringer so far and uh, haven't switched baits at all since I started. But that's the rig right there. Got a white head. Well, kind of had a white head before I started shooting it in there. Hits those black foam parts and knocks all the paint off. But yeah, you get the idea. I've only had like two solid hits the entire time I've been here where it's like, oh, I can actually feel the bite. The rest of them have been very, very light. Or you don't feel the bite at all. I'm just showing you guys how long it takes to actually let that thing sink with the 16th ounce jig head. It takes a few seconds to get down there to the depth. I don't want to fish with anything heavier than that because I'm using it to kind of pendulum back to me underneath that dock. Uh, if I have a heavier jig head, it falls too fast. This subtle of a bite that this is, that pendulum gets them to actually take the bait a lot more times. Just like that right there. I didn't even feel the bite on that one either. Just lifted up and he was there. Got him. He might be a little small. Check him out here. Nope. He's another 10 inch or so I'll put him on. Fish number 11 on the day. That's a keeper. That's a great sight. And that's without any electronics or a motor or anything. It's just out of my kayak. Without further ado, that's going to wrap up today's session out here on the lake. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up down below and I'll be sure to come out and do some more wintertime uh, dock shooting before the winter's over, even though we're already in mid-February. Got a couple more chances to come out and do this, so if you enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up below um, and I might come back out and try this again. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, you know, feel free to subscribe, but if not, no pressure. Thanks for the view. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Explore deeper. There's more out there.